Hello students, in a series of applications of uniform circular motion, this is our fourth video. In this video, we are going to discuss banking of road. Now let's understand what is banking of road. The process of arising outer edge of a curved road over the inner edge through certain angle is known as banking of road. Here in this picture, you can see a bus is moving on a bank road. For the discussion of a banking of road, we are going to consider motion of a car. Let's consider a car is moving on a bank road having a mass M. M be the point mass of the car. Let theta be the angle of banking. R be the radius of the circular path. Now let's discuss what are the forces acts on the car. N be the normal reaction acts perpendicular to the surface of the road and the weight of the car acts vertically downward. Note down here student both these forces normal reaction and the weight of the car have a fixed value. Now resolve normal reaction. This is a vertical component of the normal reaction. This is the horizontal component of the normal reaction. Here you have angle theta. Hence, the vertical component is n cos theta and the horizontal component is n sin theta. As we already discussed, student, normal reaction has a fixed value. And for the given bank road, angle of banking is also fixed. Therefore, both the component n cos theta and n sin theta of the normal reaction are also fixed. Now here in the diagram, you can see student component n cos theta balances weight of the car. Therefore, n cos theta is equal to mg equation number one. Now, the next component of a normal reaction is n sin theta is direct towards the center of the curve path. Hence, the n sin theta provides necessary centripetal force. This n sin theta component balances centrifugal force mv square upon r. Therefore, the car should move along the curved path of a radius r with the speed v for which n sin theta is equal to mv square upon r. This is equation number two. At this speed v, the friction force is not required to provide centripetal force. So only the component n sin theta is enough to provide centripetal force. Therefore, the road is acts as the ideal road that is frictionless road. This speed V is known as the most safe speed of the car on a bank road. Now let's discuss most safe speed. So I repeat student for the most safe speed only the n sin theta component is enough to provide centripetal force no required friction force to provide centripetal force. So, the, so let the car is moving on the curved road of radius r with the speed v that is the most safe speed. For the most safe speed, n cos theta balances mg and n sin theta balances centrifugal force mv square upon r. Divide equation number 2 by equation number 1. We have n sin theta divided by n cos theta is equal to mv square upon r upon mg. Cancel normal reaction and the weight of the car. We have a tan theta is equal to v square upon rg. So the most safe speed v is equal to under root rg tan theta. In the given formula of a most safe speed, there is no term m that is a mass. Of the car. From this we can say the speed of the vehicle on the bank road is independent of its mass. The speed will be maximum for tan theta is equal to 1 that is theta is equal to 45 degree. Now let's suppose that the speed of the car is greater than the most safe speed that is under root rg tan theta. In this case the centrifugal force becomes mv dash square upon r. Now, n sin theta is less than mv dash square upon r. It is because 
as the speed increases centrifugal force increase but the component enzyme theta has a fixed value it not change with the change in speed the car would slide outward but still the car is moving along the radius of a circular path r with the speed v dash it has happened because this excess speed over the most safe speed get balanced by static friction as it prevents sliding of the car with no student static friction can take any value between the zero to limiting value so let's suppose that for the given speed v dash fs be the force of a static friction now resolve force of a static friction we have here theta and this component is fs cos theta and this one is the fs sin theta as you observe student fs cos theta and the n sin theta are parallel to each other hence the n sin theta plus fs cos theta together balances centrifugal force mv dash square upon r but we know student n has a fixed value that is a normal reaction has a fixed value as the n sin theta component increase the n cos theta component has to be decreased therefore we have n cos theta minus fs sin theta is equal to mg divide equation number 2 by 1 we have v dash is equal to under root of rg in a bracket n sin theta plus fs cos theta upon n cos theta minus fs sin theta now let's discuss the car is moving with the maximum possible speed so v max is a maximum possible speed over the most safe speed in this case force of a static friction is a limiting force of a static friction which is equal to mu s into n now reconsider equation n sin theta plus fs cos theta is equal to m v square max upon r and n cos theta minus fs sin theta equal to mg now substitute mu s into n for the fs we have n sin theta plus mu s n cos theta is equal to m v max square upon r and n cos theta minus mu s into n sin theta equal to mg divide equation number 2 by equation number 1 after simplification we have a v max is equal to under root rg in a bracket tan theta plus mu s upon 1 minus mu s into tan theta now let's consider the speed of the car is less than most safe speed in this case the centrifugal force is m v double dash square upon r you can see student as the centrifugal force increases still the value of n sin theta is fixed and because of that the n sin theta component is now greater than that of a centrifugal force because of this the car would slide inward but still the car is move along the same circular path with the speed v double dash it happens because the low speed get balanced by static friction as it prevents sliding of the car we again we know student force of a static friction can take any value between the zero to limiting force for the given speed v double dash let fs be the force of a static friction resolve friction force here we have this component as fs cos theta and this one is a fs sin theta so as we can see student fs sin theta component is a parallel to n cos theta and f co fs cos theta is a parallel to n sin theta from this i can write n sin theta minus fs cos theta is equal to m v double dash square upon r this is equation number 1 but again the n has a fixed value as the n sin theta component decrease n cos theta component has to increase in order to have the n as a fixed value 
So the n cos theta plus fs sin theta is equal to mg. Again divide equation 2 by equation 1. We have v double dash is equal to under root rg in a bracket n sin theta minus fs cos theta upon n cos theta plus fs sin theta. Let's discuss minimum possible speed of the car on a bank road. Let v minimum is a less than under root rg tan theta that is most safe speed. Here the centrifugal force becomes m v square minimum upon r. It moving along the curve path of radius r with the speed v minimum. For the minimum speed, the force of a static friction is a limiting force which is equal to mu s into m. Because as the speed decreases, the centrifugal force decreases. So in order to balance this n sine theta component which is having a fixed value, the value of a force of a static friction has to increase. So when the force of a static friction reaches to its maximum value that is to the limiting force of a static friction beyond that the force of a static friction is not able to balance the n sine theta so the n sine theta minus fs cos theta is equal to m v minimum square upon r and the second in equation n cos theta plus fs sine theta is equal to mg now substitute fs is equal to mu s into m that is a value of a limiting force of a static friction we have n sine theta minus mu s into n cos theta is equal to m v minimum square upon r n cos theta plus mu s sine similarly n cos theta plus mu s n sine theta is equal to mg divide equation number two by one we have v minimum equal to under root rg tan theta minus mu s upon 1 plus mu s into tan theta. Now let's discuss different situation with the formula v max is equal to under root rg in a bracket tan theta plus mu s upon 1 minus mu s tan theta. Here if the angle of banking is greater than or equal to 45 degree v max is equal to infinity. If the mu s is equal to cot theta, then again the v max will be infinity. For mu s is equal to 0, we have v max is equal to v is equal to under root rg tan theta. This is the most safe speed on a bank road. When the angle of banking is 0, that is level curve path, v max is equal to under root mu s into r into g. This is the maximum spe safe speed on the level curve road. Now let's consider the V minimum equal to under root RG in a bracket tan theta minus mu s upon 1 plus mu s into tan theta. If the mu s is greater than or equal to tan theta, V minimum is equal to 0. It is possible when the car is moving on the rough road banked at small angle. Hope you understand the concept student. Thank you for watching my videos. Do like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you.